How was this process of building this big uh, factory? Neil is the only one who has such a high vision. Welcome to a new episode of House of Neo, and this one is very special. We are here in Neo Park, our second factory in Hefei. Just 600 kilometers outside of Shanghai. Today we are taking a tour, but we are also talking with Dr. Shen Feng. So let's go inside. Alfonso, let me introduce you Dr. Shen Feng. He joined NEO in December 2017 and currently serves as our Executive Vice President and Chairman of Quality Management Committee. Dr. Shin worked in several senior executive management roles, such as President of Polestar China and Global Chief Technology Officer at Polestar, President at Volvo Cars China. Hello, hey. Dr. Shen Feng. Hey, Thank you for hosting us here in, in the office. Previously, we saw uh, images from F2, our second factory in Hefei at Neopark. What is the big difference between this factory and the first one from NEO? We start our first factory in Hefei, then Anhui province and the, uh, the Hefei city government, they fully realize how the momentum of this smart EV wave looks like. So they made a quite determination wants to create a, a center of the smart EV industry in the world. Then with the development of NEO, we are launching more and more models and we do need adding extra capacity for NEO. So that is matches very well. We are very proud of uh, the speed and the quality of it was the, just one year, right? Yes. The announcement was made in April 29th, 2021. We said we want to do it. April 29th, 2022, then the first ET5 loading of the line. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's uh, it's amazing. And mm -hmm. everyone visited the plant with a, such a big scale. So everybody mm -hmm. is very surprised and happy to see such a mega uh, plant mm -hmm. um, being built up in high quality in such a short time. Our second factory is part of Neopark, one of the biggest industrial areas in China with over 11 square kilometers. Just one year after the kickoff of our factory here in Neopark, this model behind me, New ET5, our smart electric sedan, rolled out the production line. Supported by nearly 1,000 robots, this factory was based in four visions lean, intelligent, green, and joyful. And, and between uh, F2 and, and the first factory, uh, I visited both in the, in the last days. And I can, I can notice there's a, a, a considerable difference in autonomous process. How was this process of how to build the most innovative, but also in full speed? As you mentioned, one year is industry lead in terms of speed. How was this process of building and planning this big uh, factory. We emphasize very much for the F2. We use like a four words to describe. So that's why when you watch walk around the, in the F2 plant, you see lots of the digital technology is being used. You see less people. You see more robots. You see more digital control in the lots of the quality gate control. You see lots of automation happens. Mm -hmm. That is then the lots of in the back a lot of the data collection the online, the inspection, online, the feedback, this type of things happens quite much. Mm -hmm. So uh, since we had the experience, the knowledge when we build the F1, now we accumulate or migrate this experience, build it into the F2 with the new technology coming. So that is what you see the F2 today, which is everybody is very happy to see yeah. how high tech looks like there. And when the factory opened back in, in 2022, it was only producing Neo ET5, our uh, mid-size electric sedan. 
but now in the coming months you have some more work yes. there <laughs> yes. um, new is in a phase of updating our new models and we are launching all nt2 the second generation models mm -hmm. so the first vehicle the most beautiful smart ev et5 it's loading off the line right now and actually i met chris uh, thomason who is our <laughs> design head yes. a few days ago he visited the plant so he looked at me and know he said wow it is feels so good when he's seeing his baby beautiful baby and it was uh, very colorful we have a yeah. nice nice stereo color of et5 yeah. rolling off the line in the print it's uh it's a tremendous moment for mm -hmm. for him to see so when we start to build uh, the uh, f2 we plan to introduce a number of models in the plant. So the production line is a very flexi flexible, mm -hmm. be able to produce um, not only the ET5, actually we are launching the EC7 now. Mm -hmm. in internal, we call Lyra the program. So EC7 is will be built in the production line in the F2 as well. Mm -hmm. And another two models will be introduced in this plant as well. Mm -hmm. So from the small, five series vehicle to the bigger vehicles they all hand, be able to handle it actually our factory in neo park is not finished we have right now the offices but we are building the residential area for the technicians and workers by the end of its expansion plan our facilities will be able to accommodate 10,000 R&D personnel and also 40,000 technical workers that will allow us to produce here up to 1 million vehicles per year. And just outside our factory here in Neo Park, we'll have the biggest new house in the world. This one that you can see behind me, it's under construction right now, but will open in the second half of 2023. And the visitors can visit this one, but also have a factory tour, which you can access through this corridor directly to the factory. And in the, in the second half of the year, it will be possible to visit F2 for our users? Uh, good question. Um, we want to build F2, we want to be open to public so more people can see how the car is produced. So the whole area was designed in Chinese, we call 4A standard, uh, tourist uh, uh, standard. So we built a specifically, we designed a visitor uh, corridor, corridor. On, on the second floor. Yeah, so people, mm -hmm. after that, people can see from the upper, we call it like a upper gold, level. Gold, yeah. gold view. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gold, gold view to see how the vehicle was built. Coming back to your first days at NIO, you joined in 2017. 2017. The Christmas day of 2017. Ah, okay. Yeah. Five days before 2018. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> What attracted you to join the project uh, back then? So William had a very high vision. Um, say we want to deliver the most beautiful car, a smart EV, and we want to build the highest quality vehicle. So he was looking for a who can help uh, William. From me, after talk with William, I feel new is catching the industrial trends and I had a very stands high seeing far so that's uh, um, everything you was doing it's very attractive to me because not only in the car itself but also new is looking many many things behind the car so we always say new is not only the car company so like the, the lifestyle the, what is the lifestyle company yeah, yeah. so that is uh, very fascinating to me then mm -hmm. uh, for the electrical car the the power part how to charging how to power swap station it is a very uh important as well and the people pay very high attention on that mm -hmm. at that time i think new is the only one who has such a high vision very good dr shenfeng thank you very much nice meeting you thank you yeah, for thank you. hosting us yeah
and stay tuned for the next episode of House of Neo. Thank you for watching and we see each other very soon. Thank you.